everyone, the theme here, and I just want to go over this week, this past week of the first week of February of 2016. There is a lot of things that happen with wrestling and with wrestling news. So before I go into Raw and SmackDown and my opinions about Raw and SmackDown that happened in the first week of February, just want to address a couple of things. Number one, Brett the Hitman Hart has announced that he has prostate cancer. Man, oh man. Bret Hart is one of my all-time favorites. When I was young, he let me hold the Intercontinental title when he was Intercontinental Champion. And he, in my opinion, is one of the greatest of all time. To uh, For him to announce something like that, it's just, oh, God, it's scary and it's just fucked up. My, I mean, my thoughts and prayers are out to him and his family. It's just the fact that I hope, I hope someday that there is a cure for all forms of cancer. Cancer is just bullshit. It's bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. It just sucks. And I I just hope that cancer gets fucking wiped out, conquered, off the face of the earth, all that shit. That's just the way I feel about that. But, oh man, that was just a devastating announcement that he had made earlier in the week. Then there's, I mean, damn. We just got word that Axel Rotten passed away. He was one of the ECW originals. And my condolences go out to his friends and family. It's just like, damn, every time you hear someone passing away, especially someone that you grew up watching or you, you feel you feel that they're a part of your life somehow. And as a wrestling fan and watching ECW and th I mean, damn, that just sucks. It just really fucking sucks. I mean, damn, lost another one, and uh, man, you never sit and think how old you are or are becoming until you see people that you grew up watching or listening to or, you know, until those people start to pass away and just start leaving, it's like, man, it's just something to think about, really. Then... You have TNA Wrestling releasing Awesome Kong. Okay, she had an altercation with Rebe Sky, and it's like, oh, God. Of course, basically, that's basically a hardy situation, a hardy control situation. We all know that's what it is. Is she going to go back to WWE? Not really sure at this point. They do kind of need her in the Divas division because that will pick it up a notch. Especially since the fact that she can go in the ring. She can. Regardless of how you feel about her, she can. Even at the, her, her age 38, she can still go in the ring. All right? So as far as her being there, or, or I mean her going back to WWE as Karma or even as Awesome Karma, who knows? I, I mean, it's just fucked up her being released and only her being released because of the altercation that was had in back, at the backstage area. That, I mean, yes, she got it to a point where it shouldn't have been, but she was the only one that was released. But moving on from that. So Raw and SmackDown. <laughs> so basically, this is the hype that WWE Fastlane, and it's not bit much of a hype that there is. It's basically Reigns, Ambrose, the Beast somewhere, and Triple H going, <laughs> and, and, and sitting, waiting, and just like, all right. Who am I going to face at WrestleMania, which I think is going to be Reigns, which I don't want it to be Reigns. I do hope that it's Ambrose, but he has the Intercontinental title. They did try to, try to hype up Ambrose being the biggest underdog and him not being afraid of the Beast and stuff like that in the opening segment. And it was kind of cool to see that. But does anyone think that Ambrose has a chance? I mean, I personally don't. I think it's just going to be Reigns because, in my opinion, the Wyatts are going to cost Lesnar and Ambrose still has to defend the IC belt. It would be cool if Ambrose ends up in the main event at WrestleMania. I would totally mark out for that. And I will come in front of each and every front of you, every one of you, on this video, on a video somewhere, and be like, okay, I was wrong. Ambrose is in the main event at WrestleMania, and let's celebrate good times tonight. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen. So you had Kalisto beating Rusev by count out. Pretty pointless. It's just that at Fastlane, Kalisto and Del Rio are going to clash again for the United States Championship. There's nowhere for them to go. Nowhere else at this point. It's just, that's just the way it is right now. 
Um, is Kaliso gonna cough up the belt again? Are they still gonna do the hot potato thing? Don't think so because Del Rio has been rumored to have a back injury. It may have something to do with his neck too. We don't know. I, I mean, it, it's just the fact that, and WWE is losing a lot of people due to injuries right now. And that's just messed up. But Kalisto, yeah, he beat Rusev by count out on Raw. <laughs> so you had the Usos beat Curtis Axel and Adam Rose. Oh, another thing. Conspicuous by their absences, you had Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt absent because Blackjack, you, you, okay, their grandfather, Blackjack Mulligan, was hospitalized. So they weren't a part of the show. They actually left to go attend to that. So Bray Wyatt was not with the Wyatt family and Bo Dallas because they're brothers in real life. They, Bo, Bo Dallas was not with the social outcast. So that was that. Um, but the Usos winning, uh, I don't really care about the Usos. I, I just don't. They they had their time to shine, and now they're, I mean, they're not really exciting to watch, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, okay? You have Brie Bella beat Charlotte, and they're trying to hype that up a bit. Look, again, do not, uh, okay, Charlotte is not going to lose this title to Brie Bella. She better not, okay? That's just, uh, uh, okay, moving on from that, because I, all right. The Big Show, oh, uh, uh, what? This is his, uh. 1,500 turn from heel to face, from face to heel, whatever. He beats Eric Rowan, and it's like, um, uh, uh, we don't care. We don't care. Why? Because it's like, we've seen this already. We've seen this so many times. It's just the fact that they won't let be the Big Show be the monster that he can be. Get the championship and run for a while. They won't let him do that. They won't let the monsters be monsters. They just won't. And all this flip-flopping from face to heel, no one really cares anymore. People don't even want to see him there. They want him to retire. They want they many people think that he's a waste of space because of all the flip-flopping. And yeah, he's danced, he's been a silly fucking background bullshit. 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 Just prop. It's no one believes in the big show anymore. That's the basic problem with that. Oh god. Best part of the night. The best part of the night, in my opinion, is AJ Styles punching out the Jizz. Best part of the night, hands down. The Jizz was being the Jizz, as annoying as usual, and AJ Styles does what he does best. He punched out a little bitch. Best segment of the night on Raw. Tyler Breeze lost to Titus O'Neil. So basically, the Breeze is over. <laughs> there, there, there's no way back from that. I'm sorry. There's no gimmick. The gimmick just didn't go anywhere. So, yeah, that's just it for Tyler Breeze. Dolph Ziggler beat Kevin Owens, which I really didn't understand, even though I, I understand that Dolph Ziggler has the skills. But to beat Kevin Owens, especially at this time, I think that Kevin Owens should be the next heel that should be working his way up. That's just my opinion. Owens has the skill. It's just that he ha he's been booked all messed up. He, that's just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Owens will come back and get his Ziggler, get re revenge on Ziggler, and then move on from that. But for him to lose against Ziggler, I just don't see the point of that. That's just that's just me. Sasha Banks beat Becky Lynch by DQ, and Team Bad is over, pretty much. So, okay, is Sasha going to go out on her own and challenge Charlotte at WrestleMania, or is it going to be a triple threat match? For the Divas Championship and for Sasha to come out on top, who knows? Maybe they're building up to that. But I just don't want Brie Bella to get that championship because that doesn't make any fucking sense at all. Um, okay. Ambrose and Reigns beat the New Day. Okay, kind of saw that coming. But the, at the end of the show, you have Brock Lesnar come back out and ah, FI Dean Ambrose, which was a nice touch. It was. Yes, you have the, bro you have the brothers, Ambrose and Reigns, kind of bickering. And maybe, yeah, he'll betray you. Or no, he'll betray you. And, and it, the championship is all important. Yeah, that's fine. But you still got that beast in the way. You had a backstage thing between the beast and Triple H. About, I see you at WrestleMania. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's the it's Suplex City softening up. Look, again, I just don't see Brock Lesnar going to WrestleMania. I don't see Dean Ambrose going to WrestleMania. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. But it was a nice twist to have the focus on those two at the end of Raw. To get the attention off Reigns, I personally doesn't. I don't want to see Reigns 
in the main event at WrestleMania. I just don't. That's just my opinion, okay? So we go on to SmackDown. SmackDown, uh, you had Reigns beat Rusev by DQ when the League of Nations just came in, and it, there wasn't even a fucking match there. It's like, come on, man. This is a waste of time. Kalisto beats Kevin Owens because of Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> okay. Even though it was a non-title match, okay, that's fine. It's still, you know, the Owens Ziggler feud keeps going. Maybe they'll sell that shit at Fast Lane. Who knows? You know, Rowan, uh, Eric Rowan. Okay, look, yes, he's the weakest of the Wyatt family, and losing the Ryback and the Big Show all in one week basically just proves that. From an NXT Tag Team Champion to where he is now, it's just ridiculous. I just don't. Yeah, the New Day beats the Social Outcast, which was cool. New Day rocks. I just want to see more heel tag teams. There has to be more. There has to be more that comes up. If so, if the New Day does cough up those belts to anyone, the next heel tag team can take over. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. There's probably going to be a big clusterfuck at WrestleMania involving the New Day and their belts. Maybe a ladder match. Who knows? But, yeah, New Day rocks. Charlotte beat Alicia Fox. <laughs> Again, Alicia is a basic... It's just a total waste of time. Charlotte of course, was not going to lose to her. That, that, that wouldn't have made any sense. And then you have Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose once again beat Rusev and Del Rio. Now, of course, they're trying. They're trying to create tension in between those two. They're trying. They're failing, but at least they're trying, okay? I mean, that was that's Raw and SmackDown. Those are my opinions. I mean, I, I, I welcome opinions. Please comment below if I missed anything. Well, I don't. I didn't really want to mention that our truth and gold dust bathroom scene. That was just that was just fucking stupid. But anyway, I just um, wanted to give my thoughts on those two shows, and it's like, man, my heart goes out to Brett Hart, pun intended, and maybe karma will come back to WWE. Oh man, Axel Rotten, damn it, and Blackjack Mulligan. I hope for a speedy recovery. Maybe, just maybe, Bret Hart will go through chemo and surgery and take take cancer out. Who knows, man? But I just don't want to see. There's been way too many people passing away lately. Not just in the wrestling world, but in the, and just in general. You had Natalie Cole, Maurice White just passed away of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Fucking, you got um, dudes killing themselves. You know, dudes, I forgot his name, but it's a dude from uh, BMX Champ. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's just, I don't know. But anyway, drop kicks, body slams, throwing motherfuckers over top rope, both feet hitting the floor. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. Until next time, this is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.